Hi Fibernatics, it's Tori with Feathertail Fiber Arts and today I'm going to be telling you the three biggest mistakes that I made when I started my fiber business. <laughs> okay, so the first mistake that I made when I started my fiber business is a mistake that I think a lot of us make when we are first getting started and we're really excited about fiber arts and all these different ideas of what we could possibly do with fiber. I kind of just jumped into the business and just made a whole bunch of products that I really wanted to make. Obviously, because I like these products, everybody else has to like them too, and they're just gonna shower me with money. Hmm. So I don't know about you guys, but this is something that I really struggled with at the beginning. And the, the problem wasn't that obviously you need to make things that you're really excited about and that you love. That's not the point. You also need to figure out where is the need. The perfect business model, especially for something that's handmade like fiber arts, is you need to find an intersection between something you love and something that's needed. Okay, so just because you love making things and you're really excited about it, it's hard, but it doesn't necessarily mean that other people are just going to want to buy it. So that was my first mistake is just creating a bunch of products that I was excited about and they were in all sorts of different categories and I was just like, I'm going to put myself out there and sell everything. That didn't happen. And one of the reasons that didn't happen brings me to point number two is that now that I had all of these random products that I was really excited about, I decided that I was going to use a wonderful marketing scheme that I see all over the place. This is not regulated to the fiber arts industry by any stretch of the imagination. The business model that I was trying to use is something that we refer to as hope marketing. And it looks a little something like this. I'm going to make this yarn and put it out into the interwebs and hope that somebody buys it. Does that sound familiar? It was definitely familiar for me when I first started. That was literally my marketing scheme. I'm gonna put it out on some kind of platform and hope that somebody buys it. When you are trying to market something and have make a business out of it, hope marketing is really, really not your friend. You need to make sure that you have a specific niche, a specific market in mind, and a specific product that addresses a specific need. Having those questions answered before you start your business is going to help you immensely. Do your research, spend some time in the fiber community and just look around and see what isn't there. See what you can make and find that intersection between what you love and something that's needed. And my third biggest mistake when I started my fiber business was was that I didn't start actively building my email list. Now I know email is super outdated and nobody uses it anymore except everybody uses it, so it's kind of not. If you have your business on a platform like Facebook or Etsy or eBay or any of these other big name platforms that we can use to sell our products, Think about this, if I'm on a platform and all of a sudden that platform decides that they're gonna wildly raise their rates, they're gonna charge an outrageous percentage and I have to move to a different platform. Now what am I gonna do? All of my customers that have bought from me, that love my products, I don't have any way to move them with me to another platform because I have no way to contact them. Now an email list is really important because it helps you it kind of takes your customers with you and it gives your customers a chance to stay in contact with you no matter what platform you're using. So I can't stress highly enough that having an email list where they get lots of really cool uh, special perks for being a VIP is really, really important. And we're definitely gonna do more, of, more information about that in the future. But for now, make sure that you're somehow building your email list. Disclaimer with this, this is also something I see people doing all the time, which is totally illegal and not to mention the fact that it's just plain rude. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to just add people to your email list without asking, because I've definitely seen people do that. Don't do that. Okay, it's you don't you know how that is. We all hate being added to things that we didn't ask for. And especially with email lists, you wanna make sure that you're getting their permission. There's a few different ways you can do that, but for now, just be aware that you just can't like grab people's emails and add them to your email list. Even if they've purchased from you, that doesn't necessarily mean, 
hey, they can be put on your email list. So just be really careful with that. So now you know, those are my top three biggest mistakes when I first started my fiber arts business. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go sign up for our email list um, because that's where all of our spoilage happens. We are so, so, so thankful for our email VIPs and we make sure that it shows. So if you want access to giveaways, coupons, discounts, pre-sales, all of those wonderful things, definitely go to fiber, feathertailfiberarts.com and sign up for our email list.